Hi, this is Ian Wright, Saturday Night Live um, Meditation. Today I think we're going to talk about becoming fully embodied and um, I'll just chat for a couple of minutes before to see who wants to join. I know most people listen to this later and uh, I was just thinking about this idea of the macrocosm and the microcosm and in the macrocosm, the outer world, um, there's this huge polarity happening, these polarity of views happening in culture, um, environmental emergencies, the virus, you know, fears for the future. But I was thinking about that in relationship to what's happening, it seems to be, in the microcosm, which is our internal space. And it's the same thing. So there are, it seems to be deep issues, anxieties, old emotional stories that are coming up for us right now. And it's, I think it's very hard. The Taoists would talk about this, the microcosm and the macrocosm being continuous. And I suppose because old emotional stories are surfacing for us all and outside is being reflected in the same in the same way for me it seems like the only thing we can do is retreat interiorly um, and find a little bit of peace within ourselves and by allowing ourselves to breathe to allow ourselves to feel, actually, if there is old sadness, feel the sadness, feel the grief, feel the old fear that's in you or whatever. And if we can just sit and be present and allow it and breathe and connect with loved ones and talk. And I think for me, most importantly, to develop some kind of daily practice that is our place, our place of peace that we can come back to daily and we can come to this place where we can handle what's happening in the macrocosm and also the idea of bringing a degree of peace to our internal world has to affect the outer world. So actually, I, I, I personally feel that the more work we do interiorly, the better it can be for every, everybody, and I, I think that's a very important part of it. So there's almost a responsibility to, to self-care, not just for ourselves. So part of that is, for me, is the idea of becoming fully embodied. What does that mean? What does fully embodied mean? It means maybe to be fully present in our bodies. Now, how often are we fully present in our bodies? We're normally... Our minds are normally taken in different directions in terms of space, in terms of time. Our energy in packets is a way thinking about somebody, some experience, some process, some worry, something. And it normally takes us back away in terms of space and location. And bringing an awareness that actually part of our energy is off worrying about this person or that issue or whatever and bringing ourselves conscious of that and bringing ourselves conscious of where we are where our energy is in relationship to time are we going over something in the past or are we thinking about or worrying about something in the future so the idea of embodying first of all means allowing ourselves to collect those parts of us that are up in different places and times and you know that idea of being beside yourself literally <laughs> you know if you're stressed or emotional you're literally not in yourself and your body so becoming embodied means almost or in a way it's like giving birth to ourselves but the first thing that happens is when when I'm working practice and you bring someone into the, allow them to ret return to their body is it can feel painful it can feel emotional if we're in physical pain it's much easier to be out way out so that we're not 
suffering, that constant feeling of pain, but it's the same exactly with emotional pain. So when someone returns into their body, it can bring emotion. It, it by its nature, it brings us into contact with our feelings. And what do we do with our feelings? We have to do one thing. We have to accept that we have feelings, be they body feelings, be they emotional feelings, whatever, be they thoughts. And by accepting them, that they're there, really allowing them to breathe, to be there, not they take over our mind, just not fighting with them. And saying, okay, I by coming into my body, it might be a little bit emotional. I might feel a little anxious. I might feel a little sad. I might feel a little grief, sorrow, happy. It, it can be all of these feelings. And we have to allow ourselves to feel them. And it's that's really hard for us because we, we really want to avoid them. Um, it's so much easier. But it's not actually because we stay away from ourselves. And so the process of becoming embodied is number one, to know where we are in time and space. Number two, allow, accept, and finally to observe feelings. And when we are in that place, then we can start to feel our body. And when we feel our body, we can become present to our body and we can allow our body fully embodied to find some peace. So let's try that as an active process right now and see where it takes us. So get yourself comfortable and ready to do a, a little meditation. So close your eyes and allow yourself to, well, return to your body a little bit. First of all, feel your feet if they're on the floor. Allow yourself to feel your feet. Feel the earth beneath your feet. Feel the connection of your feet to the earth or to the cushion or the seat or the bed. Or So that restores a little bit because we spend so much time in our heads and elsewhere. It's very hard. Just acknowledge yourself as here. I'm here or I'm coming here. And if part of you has been concerned about something in the future, just acknowledge that that's okay. The acknowledgement of that brings us back. It brings a fulcrum back into us. It's enough. Just the acknowledgement of that. It restores us. It brings consciousness to it. It's a very powerful, very simple thing to do. And if something's been, you know, you've been worried about a person, okay, just acknowledge that that person or that worry or that thing or that job or that whatever whatever it is and just allow yourself feel that and then bring your consciousness back into your body you're not stopping that you're just becoming aware of that and that you may have put a lot of your energy today in something some person some thought some worry something in the future something in the past and at the same time allow yourself to breathe and just release any tension that's come in from the day And there's just a lot of tension out there in the world now. So we have to be the peace. We have to bring the peace. That's our job. And you just let go of your day. And on the out-breath, the out-breath, and on the in-breath, just breathe in lightness. And on the out-breath, just release any tension that's been building. And any tension that has accumulated in your physical body, be it a little bit of soreness in that back or in that leg or whatever part of it, that mild bit of headache or whatever, any of that kind of feeling quality, just allow them. Allow that. That's your body telling you that you're returning to it. Breathe in. 
but also try and meet something that feels a little bit soft and a little bit delicate and a little bit fluid that's in your body. You can change your attention away from what feels blocked and painful to what feels nice. Or is there something nice that you can feel in your body? And as you go through these processes and allow your breath to calm you, just start to feel, to get a sensory feeling of your body as a whole. Feel your body in space. It helps sometimes by feeling the weight of the air or the clothes on your body. So you're bringing your attention to your sensory awareness of the edges of your body. And try and feel all of them. At the beginning you'll feel one area, then another area. But you can allow your attentional awareness to fill your whole body in space. And as you do that, it can some emotions can come and that's okay. It's all fine. Just let them breathe. Let them be. Don't think about them. Don't use your thinking brain. Just allow your body feel what it's feeling. And anything that comes up has been stored there in your body. Just allow it. Allow it breathe. And feel the motion in it. If there's movement in that, if there's an emotion, if there's a fear or if there's a feeling of something, just feel the movement in it. Feel it breathing. And it softens. And just bring your attentional awareness back to your skin, to your whole. And just allow that sensory awareness of your edges of your skin to soften, to breathe a little bit. To become quiet and fluid. It's literally like the energy field of your body start breathing through your skin. And this is your fluid body breathing. And it starts off in one area to become soft and fluid. And then another area will take a little bit of it. And all the while everything's getting quieter. And this fluid body, which is you, starts literally to slowly breathe. But at a slower rate than you're breathing through your lungs. A gentle expansion. And a softening around your edges. And as the edges soften, and everything becomes more transparent. It quietens. And there's a quality of stillness. Sometimes you can get a feeling quality that you become transparent in yourself, like a light fluid field. And that light fluid field is perfect. that stillness that's in you, in your fluid fields, is the same stillness which is behind everything, the quiet behind all sound, 
all the way through the universe. And you can feel it when you become connected with it. You are it. stillness, that one. And you're well, perfectly well. As you slowly start to feel your edges, feel your body, feel your skin of your whole body, your feet, your hands, your back, and you come and you're strongly in your body, but it feels well and it feels whole and it's connected with stillness. move yourself about just so you can feel yourself in your body feel connected to your body so dealing with the microcosm is practicing i think every day giving yourself 10 20 minutes ideally build it to 20 minutes to just meditate any of these practices that we've done and develop that practice so you can find your place of peace where you can engage with this challenging world that's in crisis in the macrocosm but from a place where you're quiet and you're calm and it's to me it's the most important thing we can do now <laughs> i think um and my uh, course stillness practices I, I'm just doing chapter 35 tomorrow the final chapter of it and so we'll load it up and it'll be out in a week or so um, which we'll be developing this stuff and developing a really interesting practice with 
And in the meantime, I wish everyone well and have a lovely evening. And um, I'll see you soon.